roll it. Hi, good morning, how are you? So, haven't seen you in a while, but that's okay. I feel like I'm just not gonna post content that I don't wanna post, so yeah, that's about it. But I hope everybody is doing well, and I, for one, am feeling so much better. For some reason, I just, I don't know, I got all in my head in February, and kind of in January too, and I, I'm getting out of my own head and we're just going to do the damn thing because doing the damn thing is better than not doing the damn thing and that's what this video is all about because I honestly, I'm just sick of my own shit and I'm ready to just freaking conquer the world because I don't want to be in the same place I am now next year and that's, that's really about it. So today we're going to talk about motivation because Everybody is always like, I want to be motivated, and why are you so motivated? How do you stay so motivated? And to be honest, guys, it's not about motivation. It's about getting out of your own head and just doing, because done is better than perfect. And I think it was Angie Lee, maybe. I listened to a lot of Angie Lee show and um, Empower Her podcast by Keisha Fitzgerald. And I love those women. But I think it was Angie that said, done is better than perfect and ready is a lie. And she is so true because really you just have to get out of your own way and freaking do it. So that's what we're doing because... Why freaking not? It's better to show up as you want to be and not do things perfectly than to not show up at all. Because if you don't show up, you ain't going to get it done. You're just going to be in the same spot. So get on stuff, girl. Let's do it. Okay. So first things first today, we're going to make a protein shake because, you know, breakfast. Um, I'm trying this new thing with my gimbal too where it like recognizes my face. So I'm sorry if this footage looks a little wacky. This is the first time I'm getting to know this new thing. So kind of looks like somebody's filming me, but nobody's filming me. It's just my gimbal recognizing my face and it's kind of weird. So anywho, we're getting out of the <laughs> We're getting out the blender. We're making a freaking protein shake because today we're gonna conquer the freaking world. It's kind of gloomy outside, which I really hate. Like I'm so ready for spring. I'm so excited that it's March now. Happy March, by the way. Um, but yeah, the warmer weather definitely makes me feel better. I don't know about you guys, but like I hate when it's gloomy and gross. Like cold, gloomy, gross snowy weather like like I think it's seasonal depression actually seasonal depression is so real and even the like old lady that cleans my um my other job she was like I've never been so depressed and I'm like girl seasonal depression it's real so anyway we're gonna start out I see people make this shape all the time and I'm so excited about it um it's ice my hands are pretty clean, by the way. Uh, I hate when you see like people in their own, like they don't talk about cleaning their hands. Every time I get home from the gym, the first thing that I do, wash my hands. I get home from work, I wash my hands. Like I am trying so hard to stay healthy because I had the flu. I had the flu. Guys, it was awful. It was so awful. Like, oh, I don't wish I on anybody. Like, I haven't been that sick since I was, like, five. I was, like, you know you're sick when you're, like, curled up on a ball, like, in a ball on the bathroom floor and you, like, want to sleep there. So, anyway. Shake is ice, frozen dark sweet cherries. I don't know. I don't know how many of this do. I don't follow directions, but one cup is 100 calories. I don't think I do a whole cup though. And then we're going to do almond milk. I just go to the max 
max line, you know, looks good for you. into protein shakes lately um uh, i also like i feel like everybody needs a label um this is gonna be a little bit of a rant real quick because and i can't get this thing on for some reason um but like you know everybody's always like oh i'm keto i'm paleo i'm this i'm that i'm on a diet i'm not on a diet like Diets, like I just want to like what I like, and if I want to keep it around, if I want to eat it, then I'm gonna eat it. If I don't, then I'm not going to. Like, I'm so sick of everybody being like, you need to have a label, you need to do this. Like, no, you freaking don't. Just live your life. That's it. Like, honest to God, just live your life. That's it. Oh crap. Thought that was gonna be like extra dramatic, but. It wasn't. <laughs> Might also be a little water. Oh, yeah. Oh, but it smells good. Ooh, you know what I forgot to put in though? It's a little bit of stevia because I don't know about you, but I like things extra sweet. So, I'm gonna put in two packets of stevia too. Just to be safe. Because, you know, better safe than not sweet enough. And they're also freaking delicious. So that's cool. And 20 grams of protein there. Mm. You really can't beat it. So, cherry, marble cake, protein shake. Complete. Mm. And really freaking good. So, I see a lot of people all the time, and they're always. You know, I think, I think us as humans are just built to complain. So, this is so annoying. Okay, I'm taking this, I'm taking this face thing off. I can't handle it. Okay. That's better. It was driving me really crazy. So, people all the time are like, I want to lose weight. Um, and I think... Or, like, I want to work out. I want to be healthier. I, you know, want to start my own business. I want to even just be better at my job. I want to do 
so-and-so. I want to make more money. I want to blah, 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 right? doesn't matter what it is. But us as humans are like bred to complain for some God awful reason. And it drives me crazy because so many people sit there and complain about their lives and are like, I can't do it, or I hate this, or I'm put in this situation, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. I'm not saying that, you know, nobody struggled and, you know, nobody has struggled before you or that, you know, we're all handed a silver spoon and we should, you know, use it. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that we get nowhere by thinking. We get somewhere by doing. So, like, I'm not a bodybuilder. Like, I'm just going to compare it to working out because it's the most relevant to me. Like, I'm not a bodybuilder. I'm not a power lifter. I have no dreams to be a power lifter, a bodybuilder, um, a crossfit athlete or even really an athlete in general like i don't see myself as an athlete like i see myself as a person who is trying to live a healthier lifestyle and that's really it and like i don't have a weight goal i don't have a body goal i don't have um like even a calorie goal like i just try to make every day count. And I try to be better every day. And some days are, you're just, you're just not. And some days you gotta take a break. And some days you gotta detach. And some months you're gonna beat yourself up because there are different seasons of life. But how we get out of, those seasons is by doing something different and by doing things that are different than what we're used to doing every single day. So like I recently listened to the book, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Joe Dispenza or Dr. Joe Dispenza. Sorry, he's a doctor. Um, so a lot of that book was becoming who you want to be, right? So becoming who we want to be is by doing what our future self does. So like if you wake up in the morning and you're like, I want to be the person that gets up and goes to the gym or the person that gets up and does yoga or the person that gets up and runs a marathon, like whatever it is that you want, you have to do and start showing up as that person and as your future self. Even if it's just doing little bits of that every single day. So like running a marathon, for example. You're not going to get up one day and automatically run 26 miles. It's just not going to happen. But if you get up one day and go for a walk, that's going to set you on a better path than staying in bed and thinking about it, staying in bed and scrolling on Instagram and watching these people do that. You see what I'm saying? So if you take anything out of this video at all, it's that you should start doing. So even if it's a little bit, just start doing. Start getting up 15 minutes earlier. Start by drinking a full bottle of water before you eat anything else. Like that's, that's my goal right now is that I'm drinking this whole thing of water before I eat anything else or eat anything for the day or I really drink anything for the day. Although I did have free workout this morning, but that was more to like get going than it was to hydrate myself. But anyway, um, whatever it is, just do Stop thinking, just do. See how it goes. Let me know how it goes. I want to know how it goes for you. So, like I said, um, I got to start doing because 
I gotta get ready for work and go to work. Um, I'm gonna show you how I do my hair in this video too because, you know, why not? Um, an easy blowout is always a good trick to have up your sleeve. So stay tuned and I will see you in the next clip, guys. So step one is to keep your hair in a towel until you do your skincare routine and get dressed. That way, most of the moisture is out of your hair, which will actually make it easier to style. So I will see you back here when my skincare and makeup is complete and I have my clothes on. So <laughs> see you in a couple. So I had to put on a tank top real quick because in this lighting, guys, I look freaking jacked. Like, look at that. Yeah. So, I just had to show you that, because what the fuck? <sighs> Freaking Hulk over here. Hulk status. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Done being full of myself. See you in a couple. <laughs> my hair keeps falling out of the towel, so we're just going to take it out of the towel now. Almost done with my makeup routine last things are just my little bit of eyebrow cream just like shapes them gives them a tiny tint of color and then my mascara but the main thing with this little hair tutorial is that you want your hair like 80% of the way dry before you start blow drying it because then you don't have to put as much effort into your blow dry. Which is something that I learned when I worked for uh, Supercuts actually, which was kind of one of the tips that has lasted with me for forever. And I don't do hair professionally anymore, but I do do hair, you know, for like friends and family and stuff like that. So good tips to know. complete Ooh. before I forget I gotta put some deodorant on cuz you know blow drying hair you get a little sweaty you know like 15 minutes before you're leave for work thank God my uh, meals are already prepped spit it out all right so blow dryer we need one clip we need a round brush and I use just a wet brush to comb my hair out first things first. So two, what I do is some leave-in conditioner. I get this, um, well, I got this from um, FabFitFun Box. It's Prep Rally and it's by Dry Bar. It smells kind of like a baby. 
Um, and then I'm also going to put in this Aveda Damage Remedy. I talked about this in one of my other videos, um, but I really love it. I'm almost out. Um, but I ordered some new Arbonne hair treatment. Because, you know, Arbonne's got everything. Won't stop shopping. Alright, so I put that through. I usually just kind of do the ends of my hair and then work the last bit of product through kind of the top of my hair but I try not to really go on my roots too much but of course I want to prevent as much frizz as possible okay and then what I do is just comb all of the product through and if you have a good enough product by this point your hair should be like completely detangled and you can just right through. Uh, this is also why it's important to kind of let your hair dry before because then it saves you a butt ton of time. All right, so we are gonna just section off this top bit. And I just go kind of straight, straight back with it. And then I twist it up and around and clip it out of the way. But to make sure that you don't get those like ridges in your hair, you go from one side to the other. See, you like get it all in there, get all the, all right. So then we're just gonna start blow drying. And we take this and we, I kind of like, separate it into two and then we just pull out and pull under and go you also want to make sure that you're always keeping the blow dryer kind of moving and you don't want to like press onto your hair because you don't want to burn your hair that just creates more frizz and like breakage and gross right yeah so don't do that it's also an arm workout not recommended after shoulder day, like I did today. Maybe that's why I look so jacked today. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, it's insane. It's also probably like the lighting in here. Like, holy freaking trap queen. Like a whole, whole different kind of trap queen. You know it's dry when you can run your hands through it and run your brush through it without any old tugging. Sometimes you gotta break it off in a little section. Just keep going. running out of time. All right. And then we take the top section down and we're gonna blow dry it all forward. And that's gonna give us enough over direction to get a nice swoop on the top.
you can see, I just kind of like finish it all off and make sure that it's all dry by just kind of flipping it all around. But then you just kind of run your fingers through it and you get a nice bit of volume on the top. And this literally took me 13 minutes and 36 seconds because I have a timer and I have to make it under 15 minutes in order for this not to shut up, shut off while I'm filming. So there you have it. That is my hair tutorial. It was just a nice, simple workday blowout. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little different than my normal video, if I even really have a normal style video. But I hope you liked it. I hope you took something away from it. And I hope I see you in the next one. Again, my name is Courtney Tucson, except I don't think I ever even said that in this video. I hope I see you over on Instagram at Consistently Courtney. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.